The Bewildered Beasts are huge, gigantic title class dragons that first appeared in the movie How to Train Your Dragon Part 2. They possess the ability to breathe ice blasts, which can freeze on impact, and can also be used to create humongous icy crystal shelters for their dragon followers. According to the World of Dragons book, their size is about 520 feet long, with a wingspan of 150 feet and a weight of 200,000 pounds, that is around 90 tons more or less. They have webbing connected coral like scales or large spikes that protrude from the back of their necks just like Godzilla and as for their teeth, they are relatively small compared to body ratio. And they also have tail fins which help them to propel through the water. As we have seen in the movie, there are two types of alpha male bewildebeest, the white dragon that is Valka's Bewilderbeast which is snowy white with charcoal highlighted tips and his eye color is whitish blue. On the other end we have the Black Dragon aka Drago's Bewilderbeast whose physical appearance is dark, muddy grey with red highlighted tips and his eyes is reddish in color. Let me say just one thing, the Bewilderbeast had the opposite personality of the Red Death in which he is more subtle and doesn't rule by fear but with an alpha call. Now let's look into their personalities. The Valkas Bewilderbeast. This one is very noble and was diligent and patient enough to create a fine kingdom on its own and to provide a heavenly sanctuary to local dragons. At some point in the past, this Bewilderbeast came across Valka. It is unclear, however, whether their first encounter was before the creation of the nest or if Valka met the dragon before the nest was created and it means that she could have contributed to assisting the great dragon in creating the fine kingdom. Then we have Drago's Bewilderbeast. This one is always filled with endless pain, grief, desperation and mostly abysmal rage to everything including his miserable fate. This anger that caused him to target everything may go towards the innocent, happier beings, especially other members of his own race, that may cause him further envy, loathing and sorrow. Despite being enslaved against his will, the Bewilderbeast seems to seek Drago's approval. And before leaving for Burke, the Bewilderbeast calls all dragons to him and once the dragons gather above him, he looks at Drago as if Drago is his sole master. The next is their origin or location. Valka's Bewilderbeast comes from Valka's Mountain situated in the northeastern part of the How to Train Your Dragon map. Valka's Mountain is a prime example of nature's architecture and the mighty Bewilderbeast's ingenuity. The mountain is comprised solely of hexagon and polygon basalt formations. These formations are ancient refinements of pyroclastic eruption where a basin of lava was able to cool down slowly forming the iconic rock pillars. Because the mountain sits on a volcanic region, the area is still geologically active resulting in a great number of hot springs. The thermal activity paired with the ice roof creates an unusually warm climate compared to the surrounding area. Drago's Bewilderbeast comes from the Northern Alliance. Drago was designed to look as racially ambiguous as possible and from a land far away from the Vikings of Berk. When he was a boy and lost his family, Drago vowed to rise above dragons. Thus, he set himself to conquer the world by using dragons. During his earliest conquest, he found a Bewilderbeast hatchling and raised it with cruelty. He then formed the Northern Alliance composed of dragon trappers from numerous nations such as the Slavic, the Sami, Inuit and Asiatic clans and tribes. Along with thousands of enslaved dragons, he also managed to build many traps, weapons and armor made for his enslaved dragons themselves. So now that we have the background information about these two dragons and their owners, let's see how the battle pan out. Of course we all know that Drago's Bewilderbeast won the duel and killed the other alpha dragon. But how did it manage to do so? Anyway, the battle happened when the alpha dragon burst out from the fortress in defense of the other dragons. And at the same time, the other challenger surfaced from the water. They were both equal in size. And in the beginning, they were equal in strength as well. The battle was similar to how rams and stags fought by ramming against each other with their heads or antlers. But given the cruelty in which the other one was raised, and that it kept on traveling and fighting battles, it possessed more stamina which made the slightest difference enabling it to seize an opportunity to topple down the white beast and stab it with its two sharpened tusks. And that's it, that's the comparison of the two bewildebeasts. Hope you enjoyed it, it was an icy blast. 
Do comment down there and hit that subscribe button for more dragons and monster videos.